Hi everyone, Yaku from Tudor Touch here, and in this video, I'll be doing a full panel walkthrough on our Tudor Touch interactive 4K panels. I'll touch onto some of the features as well as the software suite that comes standard with the panel. I would like to mention that all of the software that comes standard with the panel is maintenance and subscription free, and the updates are all done over the air. I am currently working on a 75 inch unit. However, we do have a 65 and an 86 six inch unit available. In the background, I'm playing a video that is comparing the 4K resolution to the HD resolution we are all used to. And this panel also comes with its own built-in sound system. So no need for any extra speakers to have exceptional quality wherever the panel might be situated. The front of the panel is also covered in tempered glass which means it's extremely durable and will last you for years to come. All right, so with the quality and the sound touched onto, I will now move over to our software suite that comes standard with the panel, quickly touch onto all of them, and then I'll move over to the computer. So I'm gonna start off with our connection type software, which is Connect or ScreenShare Pro. Then I'm gonna move over to our video editing and recording software, which is Capture. And then lastly, touch onto Note, which is our whiteboard or lesson preparing software. So to start off, Capture uh, Connect allows you to connect any mobile device to the panel, would it be iOS or Android, as long as it has a QR scanner. So a Chromebook will also work. Now, it's very simple to connect to the panel. It's as simple as scanning the QR code by pointing your phone at the panel. So once you have the application on your phone and you point it at the panel, the, your mobile device will be connected. And from here, you can do a couple of things. For instance, you can use it as a mobile visualizer. Let's say you're having a discussion about laptops. You can connect one of your students, send them out into the world, Go take a photo of a laptop and then upload it for everybody to see. From here, you can cut, rotate, zoom in and out or make annotations overwards. Once you're done, it's as simple as pressing the close button and going back to your computer. Next in line is the screen projection remote desktop. What this allows you to do is it allows you to manipulate the computer from your phone wherever you might be. So if you want to open up uh, a document from the back of the class or simply make annotations on the computer with your phone you are able to do so you can also change the different colors around and save this as an image or just simply close it and go back to your phone next i want to touch on to the ScreenShare pro application which sits on the android side so if you swipe up here and you go over to the android side of the application it sits over here just as a quick demonstration, once again, scan a QR code to download the app. Make sure you're on the same Wi-Fi frequency and then input the six digit code. Now, this six digit code is always floating at the top. Would you be on the Android or on the Windows side? Now, I've already connected this laptop with the ScreenShare Pro dongle that allows you to share content from your laptop wirelessly to the panel and then you can manipulate that content from the panel. If you then had to add another device, would it be another laptop or perhaps just a mobile device, it will then split the screen accordingly. So as you can see, the uh, six digit code is floating at the top and when you input that into your device, it will split the screen down the middle. So as soon as I say start sharing, my second screen will come over on the right hand side and you can see both views simultaneously. Now, I do wanna mention that this screen can be split up to four and it also works in a queue system. So if you have device one and two, and let's say you add device three, the screen will be split down the middle and image three will be over here and image four will be over there. With the queue system, if number five starts sharing its screen, number one will be kicked off and placed in the back of the queue. All right, with the connection software is touched onto, I will now move back to the computer and then just touch onto the video recording software as well as the note program. 
So Capture is a full-fledged video editing and recording program that allows you to record the panel as a whole, including any peripherals. So as you can see, I've got a webcam attached, so it is picking up my voice. However, I have muted the camera. You can, however, add a camera if you would like to add picture in picture. Now, once everything is set up and you're happy with where the panel is recording, it's as simple as pressing the record button and after the timer, everything you do will be recorded. So as a short example, I'm going to open up the note program, do a couple of things on the note program and then showcase that in the video editing afterwards. So in our note program, you have a couple of different features and it comes with a couple of different subject matters. At the bottom, you have your pen tips or your tool tips, which gives you a bunch of options. This panel comes with 20 touch, as well as back of the hand gesture erasing, making erasing of content quite easy without having to swap to tooltips in order to erase that content. It also comes with in um, your automatic handwriting recognition. So if I write and welcome, it will turn it into block letters for me, uh, which is a little bit easier to read as my handwriting is quite bad. Now, this also allows you to pre-prepare lessons. So I'm gonna open up my lessons over here and then swipe to the next page. First in line is chemistry. So this is one of the subject matters that the program comes with. And in the chemistry program, you can do a bunch of things. Now I need to say that this is my favorite part of the program because it's very interactive and very visual. On the left here, apologies. On the left here, you can see I've got a periodic element. And if I click on it, press on the duplicate button and drag down, I will have a duplicate of that element. Now, once you press on the cogwheel, you can compare that element with the next one in line. And now I'm visually comparing calcium with scandium and the structures have been changed accordingly. On the right here, I've set up some test beakers in different colors. Now, this is specifically to showcase how to mix colors. So yellow plus blue will equal green. And as I've mentioned, this panel is extremely interactive. So if you click on it, you can use the pinch to zoom feature to make it bigger or smaller, or simply rotate the test beaker accordingly. Now I do have a cap on and the liquid is not falling out. However, if I then turn this upside right side up take the cap up and line it up just correctly the liquid will overflow into the next one and be caught in the last one moving on from there i'm going to go over to mass and as you see the tooltips at the bottom has changed slightly now it gives you access to your automatic shapes where you can input your radii and diameter along with your triangles uh, inner and outer circle you also have 3D shapes, which are completely interactable in the sense that you can move them around, tw twist them around, as well as change the full color to make it a little bit easier to see that shape. All right, so with the basics of the note program touched onto, I just want to touch onto one more feature, which is the desktop mode. So if you click on the little desktop icon here, it will minimize note, but it will give you access to the computer. Now, this allows you to do annotations over and above everything on the computer. Would it be a YouTube video, a Word document, or a PowerPoint X uh, presentation? You have all of the features that are with, comes with the note program. So the back of the hand gesture erasing will also work. And then to go back to the computer, it's as simple as pressing on the mouse icon. Now, while I was doing that, Capture was recording everything and I can say stop the lesson over there or stop the recording and that will manipulate it into an mp4 format. Apologies, I'm just going to mute myself. Um, and it will manipulate it into an mp4 format which is widely recognized. Now if you're happy with the recording it's as simple as pressing the export button and then saving it onto the computer or any of the connected online drives. Would you be using OneDrive or Google Drive? If you're not happy, it's as simple as pressing the edit button and that will take you to the editing part of the software where you can then edit the track down accordingly. So would it be to cut about out a little bit of the dead space in the beginning and deleting it to make the track shorter? Would you want to separate the audio and the visuals to make editing a little bit easier? You can add some effects like a zoom effect to point something out, transition between text or between cuts, as well as add text or a watermark overwards. 
And then once again, once you're done, it's as simple as saving that or exporting that onto any of the online drives. All right, so that is essentially the software suite touched onto as well as the quality. I just want to mention that this is a computer. Um, we are currently running an Intel i5 8th generation computer and it has a built-in 120 gig SSD hard drive, which means the computer is extremely fast. Now, with the computer, it allows you to do anything a computer will allow you to. So you have access to your software suite, which is Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. And the touch features do work across all of these applications. As a short demo, I'm gonna quickly open up a Word document. And if you go into Draw, Draw with Touch or Ink Editor, you can edit documents down accordingly or take quick notes with the touch. So if you wanna to add two words, it's as simple as dragging them together. If you wanna separate them, it's as simple as adding a space. Or would you want to add any additional content? It's as simple as writing it onto the panel and it will be turned into block letters and added for you. Now, this. As I mentioned, this is a computer, so you have access to a couple of other features. Let's say you wanna play a little bit of a game or just show how responsive the touch is. You can download any of these applications. Because it's a computer, it will be compatible. So for a demonstration, to show you how sharp the touch is. And then if you tell a really bad joke, you can do that little sound. All right, so the last thing I want to mention is that from Tudor to Touch's side, we do believe that this panel fits into the 21st century classroom. As it is on a mobile stand, it can be on a height adjustable mobile stand or just a normal mobile stand. So the difference between the two is the height adjustable stand will cater to go the panel, take the panel all the way to the lows to cater for the little ones or you can take it all the way to the top if you have more people in attendance for everybody to see. Thank you so much for watching. Please follow, like and share. My name is Yaku from Tudor Touch.